Virgo, welcome to your just in time tarot reading. If you're watching this Virgo, trust there is a message here for you. If you are a regular, welcome back Virgo. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Bronya. I'm an intuitive tarot reader and looking forward to bringing you through this message. And if you do enjoy it, please do like, share, comment, but most importantly, Virgo, hit the subscribe button as that lets the algorithm or the robots know that you're into it. It'll share it out and yeah, it's really important to keeping uh, smaller channels like this one going. Keeps the lights on. Okay, Virgo, surrender to the divine. I've pulled the full moon energy from this oracle deck. Now, this kind of feels empressy to me and I'll tell you why. Um, really with the, the way this works is that you know, we can take all the action that uh, we can from our own center of control. But at the end of the day, you know, we can't control ultimately outcomes, especially if they involve other people or authorities or divine timing, etc. So that's when we let go. That's when we let go and we don't hold expectation of outcome. And interestingly, that's often Virgo when the magic happens. Full moon energy, you might be waiting for a conclusion, an outcome, uh, something might be illuminated for you here. Let's keep going. I'm going to pull you a divine initiation oracle card and then I will head to the ethereal alchemist tarot. There's always a link down below of the decks that I use in case you want to add them to your collection. All right, well, you, you've been told loud and clear you are supported by the universe, by your highest path, your life plan. This is number 30. 3 plus 0 equals 3. Guess whose card in the major arcana is number 3? The Empress. Let's see if she shows, but I feel like she is almost like, she's almost like behind the curtain watching your first performance and she's like encouraging you because she's been coaching you. All right, so you are supported. Surrender to the divine. There's some kind of gateway here. There's some kind of, yeah, it's almost like some kind of divine redirection here that maybe you don't see coming. All right, Virgo, let's work with the full tarot deck. Page of Wands, yeah. Good news. This is good news. It can be a messenger of opportunity. It's also asking you to get really curious to new potential, new passion, new growth. But I notice like my, my intuitive read of this card, you know, I'm seeing someone who's in a desert finding this beautiful uh, oasis, right? Which is real. It's not just a, not just an illusion or a mirage. Um, the, what it feels like is maybe you feel like something's not going to happen or, you know, it feels like a long shot or the situation, the well is dry, you know, and then you find it. And it's like finding the Holy Grail, surrender to the divine. So Page of Wands is usually a messenger of opportunity. It brings us the Ace of Wands, some kind of incredible uh, opportunity here for growth and the page of swords so double pages and I don't know if you've heard me say this before Virgo but I always say that the page is the preparation to receive the ace so we're getting prepared for ace of wands ace of swords which is some kind of breakthrough of an offer of growth opportunity it's like it's still not quite within reach though so there could be still a bit of a wait hence the surrender to the divine if you're sort of on tender hooks here or on the edge of your seat waiting remember you are supported five of cups kind of coming through in the reverse here now the five of cups can be disappointment fear of loss um being really really focused on a certain outcome or looking a certain way and then we can actually miss other opportunities but you know because of that also what i'm feeling is that this is not going to come about in the way that you're expecting hence why expectations are a slippery character that can be um you know they they can be they can set us up for the five of cups so there is a, like a, a letting go to how the universe is weaving magic in your life yeah seven of swords again sort of in reverse here you know, and I think that if you do focus on things looking and feeling a certain way, then that's this sabotage and that and we can miss an opportunity. Surrender to the divine. We can't control this. This is out of your control. Knight of Pentacles, right? And now we're starting to get the solid outcomes come in. Virgo energy for me, that's you. 
The Knight of Pentacles, though, is a slower moving energy. There's no one out of the four knights in the tarot. We'll say the Knight of Swords being the fastest one. This is the slowest. So there's still a bit of time to play out here before this shows up. But again, the energy is being prepared for you. The plan is unfolding in the way it's meant to. Now, that might seem um, hard to believe or understand right now. That's why we have to trust the process. Four of Pentacles, yeah. Trust the process. Be open, right? We don't want to slip into Four of Pentacles like feeling hard done by or the miser energy. Again, we have to look at the foundation, right? Four of Pentacles, you know, like the foundation has been set and now it's time to surrender to the divine Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles, I feel, is the outcome that you're wanting and it is something that sets us up for long-term happiness, stability, security. It's normally linked to, like this could be wanting to find that life partner that you can settle down with or a relationship going to the next level or getting back on track or reconnecting to get to the Ten of Pentacles, building a life, building family. Alternatively, the Ten of Pentacles can be wanting the job, the pay rise or the finance that you can do something with, maybe buy a home, invest or get paid a certain amount so you can work towards a, a goal of longer term uh, stability or retirement depending on what life stage you're at and you've been putting your feelers out there and you've been doing the work remember surrender to the divine is the last piece in this manifestation process and that is often when it lands ace of cups your big dessert here ice cream sundae always looks like that for me this card I mean look what is coming emotional new beginning oh, it's not going to happen now I think I actually if I'm being honest here I feel like this is an early 2025 first quarter first three months of 2025 like we do these readings and yes just because this is the energy for the week doesn't mean to say it's playing out this week it's just what you need to know right now about the situation an emotional new beginning is coming I feel early next year Put the plan in place, do what you can, surrender to the divine, trust the process, know that you are supported. We've got two cards of good news and victory that is on its way, not quite here, being prepared for you. Try not to focus on expectations of how it should play out, when it should play out, how it will look. That is going to maybe have you miss important marks here, or maybe it will sabotage the whole thing. The Ace of Cups has longevity. We say here in Australia, it's got legs, right? It can go somewhere. It can really become a Ten of Pentacles situation. But there is a divine process going on behind the scenes here, Virgo. And really the one word that is coming through is trust in that process. I'm going to leave it there. And I do hope you enjoyed this reading, Virgo. If you'd like to follow up with a personal uh, reading, you can follow the first link down below to my website and you can check out what is on offer there. Uh, I'll link you to my Instagram and TikTok accounts. I'm very active and interactive on both of those platforms. Also, your 2025 yearly reading is live here on YouTube. So with what we have learned today, you might want to go and have a look at that. I'm trying to, rem I can't remember what your first three months energy is, but yeah, it would definitely be worth a check. So uh, have a look at that. And I'm just wishing you all the love and magic. Do take care. Bye for now.